Hello, fellow Fire Emblem Fates fans. Whichever side you choose to fight for, there's a hidden feature in My Castle that you may not know about. They're called Bond Units, and basically, they allow you to make children with the main characters of your friends or people you meet via Street Pass or online. Creating a Bond Unit of your own is a little tricky. As of now, we aren't quite sure about the exact details that go into making Bond Units, but we do know the basics. First, you'll need to visit someone else's castle. You can do this by searching for castles in the Crystal Ball, whether they be code you've seen, a friend in your friends list, or browsing the list of player cards you've registered. You can also enter a castle from a Street Pass visitor, or check to see who's been visiting you in your inbox for buildings, feedback, and accessories. This is actually a key factor for the next step. Once you've visited the person's castle, be sure to register their card if you haven't already, as it appears that having both players register each other's card may be a factor in creating a bond unit. Now, you'll need to give their avatar an accessory gift. You'll be able to buy accessories to wear and give early on in the main story by building the accessory shop. And don't worry, you won't lose any accessories you give to another player as a gift. Once you give an accessory to a player, you'll see an indication that your bond increased. Now all you have to do is keep giving accessories every chance you get, usually once every 24 hours, and hope they do the same to you, which you can see by viewing the accessory inbox in your castle. After a currently undetermined amount of times, which seems to be about four or five, you'll get a new notification when giving a gift. This note will say that your bond was so strong that new life was breathed into the earth. Congratulations, it's a boy, or maybe a girl. It's important to note that since you're not technically making a baby, it doesn't matter which gender either avatar is, but certain qualities do matter. Your bond unit will be given a random name that you can change if you like, and it will look like a randomized version of either gender of Corin with the addition of a face marking to signal that they are a Bond unit. This unit will also have inherited the other Avatar's secondary class, whatever the other player picked as their talent in the beginning of the game. Using the Heart Seal, you can reclass either to the Nor Prince or Princess, or the secondary class you chose at the beginning of the game. The Bond unit will also inherit one skill from both of the Avatar parents, the last skill on their skill list, as well as a randomized personal skill. This personal skill, while random, depends on which path the two players are on. For example, if both players have chosen the Conquest path, they might get Odin's personal skill, a unit from Nor. If one player is on Birthright and the other Conquest, the Bond unit may receive one of the neutral character's skills, like Silas or Kaze. If one or both of the players is on the Revelation path, there's a good chance you may just get one of the children's character's personal skills. There's also a chance you may just get a regular class skill as the Bond Unit's personal skill, like the Swordmaster's Astra skill. You can find any Bond Unit that you've created by checking the Crystal Ball's inbox and going under the Bond Unit section. Note that Bond Units act just like Ein Harriar, Captured Units, or the ones that you've recruited through the My Castle battle. This also means that Bond Units won't be able to talk or build support ratings with other characters. So what do you think about Bond Units? Is the potential for a crazy variety of skills and classes worth the lack of supports? Let us know in the comments, and for more on Fire Emblem Fates, you're in the right place, IGN.